Shalom, la b'chayar yom shal yashalom. Peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Wa kol halayim la alahayinah wa yahawu b'ashim yoshai b'ashim rakak kodesh, which uh, gave, of course, all praises to our power yahawu b'ashim yoshai b'ashim rakak kodesh. Baha bariath and Paleo Hebrew. Baha lashwan kodesh, which is holy tongue. Of course, uh, Kaw Hawad, Yahweh Bashim Yom Shai Bashim Kakwadash, all glory. All right, La, meaning to our power, Yahweh Bashim Yom Shai. Wa Shinya Kabai La Shalayach Yom Nawa, Wa Zakon Yom Nawa Shalayasha Allah, which I said, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, or our elders actually, or our apostles actually for us, which is Shinya. Or actually, Shinya is double. Um, Shalayach is uh, apostles in Hebrew. Shalayach Yom makes it plural with the Yom on the end, and then Nawa makes it our. And the Zakon is an uh, elder, and uh, uh, of course, I said uh, Nawa, which makes it our elders. Yom. Alright, so Zakon Yom. Shalayashala, which we have, of course, access to. Uh, the Rechak Wadash Za'amath is truth which the Lord of course raised up men which we're out here of course our teachers and they we're moving to a corner anymore so you know, we're, uh, we're bringing out all this uh, all truth called a moth exposing Esau Edom of course the ruling elite of them which this primary lesson is going to go into a wee bit just a, a wee bit might a little bit and of course, uh, Shalom wa Chasad, which is uh, peace and mercy, la b'chayyarim shal yashala to the election of the nation of Israel, the ones chosen, the hundred forty-four thousand uh, prophets, all right, nabiyayim, which are men, which will speak the words of Yahweh Shai, and cause, of course, those who are of the elect to hear. Do of course. How was shy? Which we will be his sheep, Lord willing, and that rest of the rem remnant, which is the one third, which the, of course the hundred forty four thousand is a part of, but this other innumerable multitude, which will be men, women, and children, which will believe in the words spoken of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, or uh, Shawab. And return to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Alright, because we, of course, have fallen away from our heritage, our uh, customs, and, our, uh, and this knowledge. Alright, Zachakama, which is this uh, wisdom. And now, of course, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is uh, blessing us. Alright, Barakim uh, uh, Nawa, are blessing us uh, with uh, this truth. In which we understand, or right, have understanding of all that's going on, all the mysteries and such. Uh, so, Shemiah Mafa, my name's Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, Baha Baba, which is a Babylon, which is a place of all confusion. And this it will definitely uh, show you confusion um, because you have this wee article which is here. It says, Bipartisan Bill aims to tackle rampant. Child porn sharing Pentagon computers. All right, I thought going into this word for uh, I'm gonna look up that word for bipartisan, which I believe is either with parties. All right, it says uh, the involvement or agreement or cooperation of the two political parties that usually oppose each other's policies. All right, when you under to get get understanding of uh, the whole Democrat, the Republican, which is nothing but of course the uh, Pavians and the patricians and such when you go into uh, uh, the history and such um, they, they, they are pretty much the uh, for the same cause in which they just have different methods to get to the same cause because you have to understand that they work for the elite okay of Esau Edom whether it be your two third Jake who have received riches on this side all right, of course, by of course being a uh, being a wicked follower of uh, 
the Roman Empire, which we of course are in that, uh, that uh, that that rebirth of it. Okay. The fourth beast. Okay. The little horn. Okay. Which we're at the end of that little season, and all is being exposed, and that of course is according to biblical prophecy. So you have a bipartisan bill aims to tackle rampant child porn. All right, so child is your lot, and you have porn. All right, uh, sharing. All right, on Pentagon computers, and, and my question for you is why, of course, is there um, government officials looking at uh, abominations such as this, detestable things such as um, child porn? All right, which this is wickedness. Let's go into it. It says Congress is weighing up a bipartisan bill to crack down on the sharing of child porn on Defense Department computers after a watchdog group found a uh, Pentagon network ranked among the top U.S. IPSs, which is, I believe that deals with your intercept. It's the IPSs, actually. I believe that's like your IP address, but let me see. Um... Let me just check real quick. Give me a wee moment. And yeah, internet service provider. This one, the top U.S. internet pro service providers for sharing the vile content, which this is vile. Okay, vile. All right, this is lewdness and such. This is wicked. All right, vile. We extremely unpleasant, bad, disagreeable, horrible, dis disagreeable, abominable. Okay, this is definitely a loathsome. Okay, it's sickening. All right, so going uh, back to the we article, it says here uh, the notion of the Department of Defense network and the Pentagon issued computers may be used to view and create and circulate such hor horrifying images is a shameful disgrace. All right, so why, of course, why, of course, is this? Of course, happening and such. Okay, we'll start with um, <clears throat> the book of Isaiah, chapter. Let's mm, that chapter nineteen. Isaiah, we'll get these for pre, pre, uh, Isaiah nineteen. Also, we'll need. Uh, actually, I'll get that first. A chud. Uh, this is, um, Revelation 11 and 8, which it reads here, Korah. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which is spiritually called Sultan of Egypt, which this is talking about America, all right? Also, of course, where we've been scattered to, which our, uh, people have been scattered amongst the four winds, but this, of course, is speaking of America, all right? That's that great city. All right, God wall, uh, Ayar. I have to look that in the Hebrew, but I know great is God wall. All right, or God the wall, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. You have uh, Ayar city, which is spiritually, spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Okay, so spiritually Sodom in Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, which is X'd out, crossed out. Our Lord is defo crossed out because he crossed out the image of Yahweh. Uh, of Yahweh Shai, his son, which Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai actually looks like, of course, his son, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, or Saki, Yahweh Shai, which is the son, only begotten son of Yahweh, all right, he looks like Yahweh, all right, um, it says, uh, and there's precepts that go into that, you know, he's the image of the invisible, and let me see if I can get a scripture. All right, let's see if I can get it, the new. I thought now. All right, this is uh, this is Book of Colossians, chapter one and fifteen. All right, we prove, of course, all things. It says here, um, starting a a bit up. It says here. Just so that you know uh, that it's speaking about Yahweh Shai. All 
I'm going to start at verse 14. Or actually, I'm going to start at verse uh, 13. It says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? All right. In whom we have redemption through his blood. So we have redemption through the blood of Yahweh Shai, even the forgiveness of sins. All right. We give thanks unto our Father, all right, Yahweh. Okay. Which hath made us meet to be partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. A war. By a war. All right. Who delivered us from the power of darkness. And who ha had translated us unto the kingdom of his dear son. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, which the firstborn of every creature or of creation is, of course, Yahweh Shai, all right, which Yahweh made Yahweh Shai, okay? That was his uh, only begotten son, and Yahweh Shai created everything afterwards, which it explains later in the, uh, verse 16 for by him all things were create, things created that are in heaven, Bashamayim. And that are in earth by Aratiza, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities or powers, all things are created by him and for him. Okay, so the Lord created everything, which you have it the blueprint from Yahweh given to Yahweh Shai. So these thrones, which you see here, have been created by Yahweh Shai, and which through Yahweh Shai will, of course, be destroyed. Okay, which we can go into that, Lord willing. Okay, in another lesson. All right, how is that rock that will break down this uh, whole system? All right, we're in this pit. Okay. All right, now I thought going back to uh, the, the actual precept, which was in um, we read the Revelation 11. This is Sodom in Egypt. Okay, so Sodom. All right, you deal with, uh, of course, Sodom, and you have the five cities, Sodom and Gomorrah and such, was destroyed, okay? Now, uh, let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah 19, and we're going to start at, um... Where it says, it says, I have mingled a perverse spirit. This is Isaiah chapter 19, or Yeshaya, I believe that is, in Hebrew. My salvation. My salvation. Uh, chapter 19 and 14, it says here, Yahweh hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Matazarium, Egypt, all right, which this is spiritually sought in Egypt, okay, in every work thereof, as a drunken man that staggereth in his vomit, Okay, so you have it where the Lord has mingled, which you have Masak Baha Baryath, all right, Masak, which is the mix, all right, producer mixing Masak, all right, going to uh, the word perverse, which you have here, Baha Baryath, Lashwan, in the Lashwan Kodash, you have distorting or warping. All right, so you have a, a, a spirit that, of course, has been mixed. And obviously, you have it, it distorts the truth, all right? Because you have it here that um, homosexuality is uh, uh, in all sorts of salt me and such is uh, actually pretty much accepted here in America and abroad, all right? Because, of course, um, you have it America, Babylon the Great. All right, which of course pushes their that that vibration, which we're gonna get to in the book of Revelation chapter sixteen, chapter, okay? Because this is coming out of, um, you have it here, the Pentagon, the Department of Defense, all right? I believe, yeah, DOD, okay. Which they have this vile content. Now going back to this article, it reads here. It says horrifying uh, images is a shameful disgrace and one must fight it head on. All right. So you have these issue, these, 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 these uh, Department of Defense Network and, and Pentagon issue computers 
they use you the create and circulate these images so they're of course not only Barra I are creating um, these but they're also circulating they're actually putting them within obviously uh, the distribution or right, within you know wherever amongst obviously these Edomites all right and whomever as on that that dark web all right because when you go into it they of course uh, these Edomites they're into of course uh, the elite of them they're into obviously worshiping Shaitan that's their God all right Molech and you know uh, and all of these Egyptian gods and such uh, they of course worship okay this is nothing but um, amalgamation of all the older kingdoms all right so going on it says here that Abigail Spen Spen Spanberger and, uh, of uh, she's a Democrat in Virginia said in a statement on Tuesday that she co-sponsor Mark Metals, which is a Republican in uh, North Carolina, introduced the end of national defense or national defense network abuse or end network abuse in the house. All right. You got here another we article. You got NXIVM sex cult leader Keith Randier faces child pornography charges and new indictment. Going on, it says the Department of Criminal Investigative Services uh, will receive training in how to uh, successfully prosecute and successfully to prosecute those using Department of of the the Defense Department equipment to access and trade. All right, trade child porn under new regu legislation. The bill also integrates the DC. I uh, yes into the multi jurisdiction task force or with federal, state and local enforcement, law enforcement, social services and child protection groups to help victims of child exploitation. Now you deal with of course the sex trafficking. It says and to roll back the tide of filth engulfing the defense department networks. It says Congress has known for at least a decade that child porn trading on the defense department computers was the a problem. It's, so, you had it for 10 years, and isn't it any punishment that's going out? Which, that's wickedness. All right, you have it. I'm going to go into the, uh, this precept. This is uh, the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 18. And um, starting at... Um, I'm going to start at verse um, 6. It says here, None of you shall approach to any, speaking to the children of Israel, all right, uh, as near kin to him. It says to uncover their nakedness. I am Yahweh. All right. So you shouldn't, of course, approach that which is near to kin to him, which is of your family. Okay. Speaking of... Uh, and they go into the specifics in this particular uh, chapter. All right, so approach. We got Harab Bahabariath, which is to come near. Approach Harab. All right. But you're going to go into a sexual way, that is. All right, to approach that any that is near to kin to him to uncover their nakedness. So let's go to that word for uncover, which we got Galah Bahabariath. And Lashwan Kodash, which is uncover or remove, all right? N nakedness, obviously, dealing with your private parts and such, all right? Showing yourself, okay? That which is intimate, okay? Basically, nakedness. Let's go into it. You got uh, the Hebrew word, uh, 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 bar, you the bar. Uh, you have it, Irawar. I rewar, which means here nakedness or nudity, okay, implying shameful exposure, indecency. All right, so nudity. Let's go into that, okay. Go into nudity. Nudity, the state of being naked. All right, nakedness, birthday suit. <laughs> Basically, when you're born, you're naked. All right, so let's go also into this in the etymology. Online, just to go further. Nudity, 
You have it nakedness from the French. Uh, you have it nudite, nakedness from directly the late Latin, which is nuditatum, which means nakedness, to be bare. All right. Unstripped. Okay, we go into it. So, you know, you have it where they're not only distributing these things. Um, you know, they're they're of course viewing them. Okay, and plus, you know, they're trafficking. Uh, because you go into it, they of course being in control, having the power of the whole world, the Edomites. Okay. Um, they of course um. Are basically a uh, whoremongers pimps all right of this thing of the of this of this uh this uh wickedness all right which is you have it sought me all right let's go to some other precepts this is gonna be the book of second peters second peters chapter two and i believe around six reads here it says here it says I'm gonna start actually uh, this is I'm gonna start at um, verse 4 Second Peter 2 and 4 it says for if the most high you held by Shemel Shai spared not the angels that sin which we will be the Malaak Yum, that sinned, all right. Uh, that but cast them down to Sha'awah to hell or right, to a low estate and delivered them into chains of darkness, being were in this uh flesh to be reserved unto judgment because we're the creature served unto is a uh, subject unto vanity, all right. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person. A preacher of righteousness, all right, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Verse six, the point, and turned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with the overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Because of course, when you go into Sodom and Gomorrah, they was doing all matters. Of uh, lewdness, you know, all types of sexual abominations. All right, you have it. They wanted, of course, have sex with the angels. That was, uh, in I believe, uh, Lot's house. You know, when Lot was uh, there with uh, his daughters and such, they wanted to come on to the angels. All right, which appeared as as men. You can read that, of course, back in the account within the book of uh, Genesis, Abara Ashiath, chapter nineteen. All right, so continuing forth, you got filthy. I want to go into this. All right, filthy, which you have here. The word here is aselega, aselega. All right, if I got the pronunciation, which you have it here, you have unbridled lust, excess. You have lasciviousness and wantonness, undisciplined, shamelessness, and solescence. Filthy, okay, and you have conversation that deals with, of course, uh, behavior, okay. So you have this undisciplined, wicked behavior, all right. Because if you do sot me, that's of course, uh, that's a that's that's wicked, all right. That's that's rashai, all right. That's a sin unto death, all right. You so of course doing bestiality and all this other wickedness, but on this, you know, you don't. We dealing with this, uncovering. Um, you know the the children's uh, nakedness and such. Yeladnium, all right. Well, Yelada, all right. And these elites, the Edomites, all right, which the earth is given on hand to wicked. The wicked, of course, are the Edomites, and they, of course, are the um the the family of Esau, all right, Edom, and they're here today, all right, as those people, okay, which claim to be, of course, uh. The heritage of being uh, pure, all right, which they call us to be black, all right, the void of light, but they of course claim to be white, which is uh, obviously perverse. It's distorted because it's far from that, okay. Just the um, 
know, make things, uh, you know, clear. All right, these Edomites, okay, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, and obviously going down to the uh, the the masses, which is a uh, people of a low class. All right, them of of Esau Edom, okay, they are the wicked. All right, they're here today. So going on, and it, and the prophecies prove they're here. They're doing exactly what the prophecy said that they would do, okay? So, and the prophecies make that distinguishing mark on whom everyone is, all the nations, all, call Gawayam, all right? All the nations, okay? So, uh, going forth, um, I'm going to go back to the article and then I'm going to bring up my last Pequod, or, or last two Pequodium. It says here that... Um, It says here, it says, um, about a, at least a decade, the child porn treat and defense department computers was a problem. Immigration and customs enforcement and identified 520 people subscribed to the websites that were known to contain child pornography during the 2008 Project Flickr investigation, including hundreds of individuals affiliated with the, the, far, the defense department all right, at the Pentagon. It says some of whom even used their government email addresses and military post boxes to register on a fence fending website. So, I mean, that's that's definitely foolish. Of course, you have it. And actually, that's very prideful because it just go and show you that they, of course, uh, are not, of course, uh, looking to be punished or subject onto in into any type of uh, recompense for being uh off being of any wrongdoing okay that's prideful that's foolish to do so you don't use the government issue you know so you you, you got it is easily you can can um identify you, yourself you know these uh government email addresses for the most part you know um a lot of them you know you have it they they register with a name all right i'm not in this sure of course at the federal level but I know defo at these uh, other levels, state and municipal levels and such. You know, they just uh, make accounts using names and such. All right. But going on, it says warring dozens of possess in some form of security clearance. It says while a handful of offenders caught in Project Flickr received jail sentences, dozens more up to 80 uh, percent. Those identified as ICE report did not. As combat and child pornography was not on the DCIS investigative priorities. It says Spanberger and Metals lament. It says this, which is, you know, I mean, of course, uh, you know, you're going to be crying or, you know, obviously, you want to say that word for lament to express uh, grief and sorrow. It says this investigation blind spot leaves the Pentagon vulnerable to blackmail, bribery, and other threats. Because, of course, you can have a hacker that uh, can infiltrate, um, you know, uh, this, uh, their computers and then use it as a, you know, of course, to extort or, yeah, basically bribe you. Like, hey, but a threat, hey, uh, we got this information. We're going to expose these names. We got the databases of the different uh, identify uh Pentagon officials, and if you don't give us the ransom, we will, of course, uh, release the, the actual information to the public, thus exposing them. All right. It says, should employees with high security clearance become compromised due to their weakness for child porn? That's that's undisciplined. That's wicked too. It says of other illicit activities and conducting on the Defense Department computers. All right, let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 49, and starting at um, the verse of 7. It says here, it says, concerning Adawam, all right, which says Edom, all right, which means uh, Edom means red, okay, which the Edomites, all right, <laughs> they, 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 of course, their flesh does uh, lack melanin, thus um they have uh the curse of of uh of leprosy which is they are clean lepers all right it says uh 
And it's a distinguishing mark that was put on Cain. All right. Later, yeah, Esau, Edom. All right. Thus said Yahweh of hosts. And, and you have to understand, not because everyone has uh, some of our people been scattered. A lot of people been scattered. So you, you can't kind of, of course, uh, just judge someone based on the outward appearance. You have to, of course, try the spirit by the spirit. The spirit being the words of the scriptures, the words of Yahweh Shai. All right. You have to, of course, uh, you know, see by the spirit, you know, obviously if a person is an Edomite because they can look like one. All right. But you have to obviously judge that spirit. All right. It says, thus said, Yahweh of Tazabawath is wisdom. Come, uh, you got uh, more in Timon. All right. Which is the wise. You have the, you have it. Um be like we have a team and represent like germans and such all right basically the smartest the edomites and such all right uh it says uh as counsel perish from the prudent is their wisdom vanished which i mean these people are, are retarded i mean for the most part because they're in there of course even hiding their their tracks all right but this is the lord's work I'm going to go down to verse 10. It says, But I have made Esau, I Shashua, bear. All right? I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed, all right? Zerah, wah, all right? Is spoiled in his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. All right? So, you have it where Esau has been made bear, and a part of that is him being exposed, okay? You know, Esau is being exposed at all time high. All right. Which is a blessing because these lies and strongholds are being brought up. And they're, be, of course, being brought down. Being that we can clearly see that he is, of course, pure. Uh, and uh, um, as what he prescribes himself to be, author himself to be this pure white um, being, chase and such. He's really, they're wicked. They're defiled, all right? So going forward, we're going to go to the book of Revelation, which is the last pre or precept, all right, which is um, Revelation chapter 16 and 14, which are actually 13, and it reads here, it says, And I saw three unclean spirits like frost come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Which you have it, the three unclean spirits like frogs. You have it, um, you have the, um, you, when you go into the breakdown and such, you have the, um, the whole the structure of this new world order being the, you have it, the, uh, America in Washington, D.C., which, uh, has the Pentagon, all right, which is the military, all right, of, this whole new world order, okay, which they want to establish, okay, you have the um, other unclean spirit, which is the, uh, you have London City State, which is the finance, all right, financial, of course, uh, head, and you have, of course, the, uh, the other one, which is the, uh, you have uh, the Vatican, all right, in Rome, all right, which uh, that, of course, would be the spiritual, all right, um, head, okay, which that's um, also the frost prophets. All right. It says come out of the mouth of the dragon. The dragon is the, the Roman Empire and the mouth of the beast. The beast is NATO. All right. Which you have it that NATO and the EU make up ultimately the beast. Okay. And this, you know, is just the, uh, NATO and the, and the EU and such. That's, the, of course, the Roman Empire coming back. All right. As written in uh, the book of Revelation and such. Okay. And other, in the other parts. Which you know we're just going to focus on this. Okay. So that one of course uh, unclean spirit. Which uh, you have it what I was going into. The. Uh, the. Um, that. The, 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 which I was going into three city states. Which you have uh, the Washington uh, D.C. Which is the military might. You have it out of the Pentagon, this whole Department of Defense. You got this wickedness that's coming out, all right, of it, all right? 
definitely unclean. Let's go into that word for unclean. All right. And, you know, when you go into it, um, these the uh, all this uh, sodomy and such is pushed heavy, obviously, by um, you have it, the Roman Catholic Church and such. When you go into it, you can clearly see that they are, of course, are nothing but pagans and not, of course, followers of uh, of the Bible. OK. Not a pagan and sat satanic worship. Uh, actually, this ain't the word I wanted. Uh, going to um, it's that unclean, yeah, unclean. Let's go into that unclean. We got akatheros, uh, akatheros, which uh, it has not cleans. All right, morally sense unclean in thought in life. All right, which we know something about Esau. Which Esau, uh, uh, let me see, I'm gonna get wrong. I think it's in Romans 1. Is it either Romans 10? Oh, actually, Saki, this is Hebrews chapter 12 and 16, which reads here, least there be any fornicator or profane person, which Esau is outside the temple. Obviously, thus being profane. All right, the temple of Yahweh Shem Shai. It says, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. All right, so it says, for ye know that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected, where he found no place of repentance. So he kind of, of course, be deeply sorrowful. The Lord, uh, of course, rejected him, which is all to his spirit, though he sought carefully with tears. You can go, of course, read the uh, account back in the book of Genesis. All right. Or Asia. All right, now going back again. So out of this, uh, one of the uh, the three um, city states. All right, which you have Washington D.C., which is the military might over there, and the Pentagon, this whole Department of Defense. You have obviously unclean things coming out of it. All right, which you, as you see, look, you got kitty porn and stuff. You know, which you have it where these, um, uh, these, that's what all these elites are into, all right? Because they, of course, um, do wickedness to, of course, appease, uh, Shatan, all right? Going to the whole Bohemian Grove and, and all these other different satanic, demonic, um, rituals they do, of course, commit the Masonic Order and all this stuff, all right? Which this place has been established upon, okay? Which they use, you know, with that whole other, uh, um, you have it, the other, uh, unclean spirit being that, that, uh, that false prophet being, um, the Roman Catholic Church. They, of course, push that, that whole vibration, okay, under that spiritual enchantment they have on the world, all right? There's a bunch of confusion that the Pope pushes out, all right? He's supposed to be a so called father of the church. Which they have it. He, he he of course actually thinks he's a god or something. He's nothing but an Edomite. All right, they're not but Edomites. But uh, let's go back to the article. You got here that Sandy Hook victim claims Alex Hook Jones emails contain child porn, which he said was planted. Which uh, you know you have it here. This other Edomite. All right, uh, Alex Jones, which he set up. You have it where he was found with uh, this uh, child pornography, all right? But he claims, of course, to be exposed, exposing his own, which he, the Lord used him to expose uh, parts of his of the, his own people, uh, which are uh, he, the wicked. But even he is uh, obviously off, okay? And, of course, they, of course, are against us being the Hebrew Israelites. All right, so, you know, basically, I've, covered everything um i mean i'm gonna go back to that book of revelation though and read the rest i think maybe one more verse lord willing uh 16 so going uh on now because ultimately you you gonna understand that all of this stuff esau edom would make um you know with the lbgq you know uh P, 
what because I think they got pedophiles in there and stuff now. I thought like where you can uh, it's not shunned upon to be, you know, to actually have desire for uh, actual child, which is ridiculous. That's all accepted with Esau, okay? Which in the scriptures is is abomination, as we prove. It says here, back again. It says, for they are spirits of devils, deceivers. All right, for they are all the spirits of the of devils, or chayim of of obviously Satan, working miracles, which, which are they're gonna be uh, obviously left hand side miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth of the whole world to gather them to battle for, of for the of the great great day of the Most High Almighty. All right. So, you know, that's basically it. You know, obviously, they're devils. They're deceivers. You know, where you have it, these people claim to be pure, claim to be um, defenders of the earth and justice. And when they actually have um, actual child pornography and they're sharing and, and trafficking it, all right, on their network and aren't even hiding the fact that they're doing it. That's why Yahweh Shem is going to destroy them, all right? With that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Rechel Kodash, Kal Halal Yimla, Allah Hayinaw, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Wa Kal Hawad, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Rechel Kodash, or Kal Hawad La, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Rechel Kodash. All glory to the Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Praises everything to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of that great millstone who well, hopefully, are edified. To the next time, I say Shalom and stay away from these demons. Shalom.